how much did this procedure cost? So, so in a, in the states, it's you went to Turkey, right? Yeah, I chose to go to Turkey because it's much better there. Uh, in the states, it's like one hundred fifty thousand for both, like to do both. In Turkey, for both together, it was like eighty one thousand dollars. Eighty one thousand. Eighty one thousand dollars. Yeah. Eighty one thousand dollars. You don't yeah. think you could have bought something else to make? people be like yo i'm fucking with him to make you feel confident it wasn't about them it was about me it was, it was about, about the way Period. i saw myself mm -hmm. i don't care how other people see. did you see yourself short i did i saw myself as like i saw myself as a small man even though i would put on a lot of weight while i was in the military i still saw myself as a small man and do, i hated it do you know the average height in the united states five nine it's five seven i think it's five nine it's five nine it's five i'm sure nine. you know i'm not gonna question you i'm it's sure five you nine. researched it's it five nine, nine. Mm -hmm. so and you went what's your height now Six foot. You pretty decent, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like you was paused. You pretty tall, bro. Like when I seen you in the outside of this, and I was like, yo, you pretty good height. The funny thing is, I almost went for a third surgery until I saw how tall I was after the second one. After the first surgery, I was like five nine and a half. Okay, explain to us how this limb limb lengthening thing works. So, is it like a little rod that just could keep stretching if you wanted it to, or what? Not technically, but not exactly because your body has limitations. So basically, what happens is they break the bone. They put a rod in the bone and then they put a device outside the leg that connects to the rod in your leg. Brother, stop. Stop. Can we stop? Can we stop now? Can we chill out? We don't need we don't need to do this. We don't need to break our own legs. Like we don't have to we don't have to break our own legs. Like the crazy thing about this to me is this man can no longer participate in any single sport. He can't run. He can't dodge anything. He can't laterally move well. There's no tennis for him. There's no pickleball. There's no basketball. There's nothing. He can't even run track. Like, yo, this is sad, sad, weak, weak behavior. I'm sorry, bro. I don't want to kick you back in, but I can't encourage this type of behavior. When the guy asked you the question, when he said, oh, you don't think you could have took that 80000 and maybe have done something to maybe give yourself some status so people would be like, oh, I want to tap in with this guy. He's a good. What he was really saying was like, yo, you wasted $80,000 to go break your legs to meet women. That's all you're doing. You're trying to impress women. I'm sure women were looking at you because that's what they do. They don't respect short kings. They just don't. I'm sorry. Short kings, y'all at a loss right now. I'll hold it down for y'all, but he made his way up to the top. He's here now. He's breathing a different air. He's looking over the tops of heads. I get it. But what he said was very weak-minded, bro. You could have tapped in with that 80K, invested in a couple of properties. Trust me, bro. You would have gotten the same treatment because now if this dude pops up later and says, I'm depressed or I'm sad or I'm feeling not so good it's gonna be very hard for me to have grace for him bro you broke your own legs you can't run you can't jump you can't do anything athletic you got these rods in your legs and you turn in and like a ah, it's too much too much like it's a it's the same it, it, it's it's too much it's similar to a bbl for a woman it's just not worth it bro keep your body the way it is like, this is so disrespectful. <laughs> we already know who this is disrespectful to. I don't even got to say it. This is so disrespectful, bro. Stop the madness. You wanted to go back for a third surgery. We have to chill on this one because to me, this is very much simp adjacent. It just is. Like, he's not actively spending the money on the woman. Like, he didn't go out and buy her like two, you know, 40k Gucci bags or you know a vintage Roly in a Gucci bag and maybe a flight somewhere to you know the Maldives nah he didn't drop 80k on all that he dropped 80k to get taller he used the cheat code that we all wish we had from genetics <laughs> man said I'm here for it oh you can break I can go to Turkey and break my legs it's not worth it because I know that girl's still laughing at you when you walk up to a joint and she's like, oh, you tall, blah, blah, you tall. And then you'd be like, yeah, I used to be five, six. <laughs> like what, what happens when y'all dabble in that conversation? Please tell me. Like if you, you, where does this conversation go? 
you having a you got a nice one. You didn't took her out for drinks. Y'all let the after hour spot, you know, spoke in the shisha, whatever the case may be. She's like, yo, tell me something interesting about you. You know, what, what happened in your past? What you know? And you break you somehow feel comfortable enough to unload this story on her that you broke your legs two times so you could get taller. The amount of questions and the amount of insecurity this woman is going to have around you as a man is going to be astonishing. I wish I could be there. Like, I'm sure it's happened before. And when that time comes again, and if it continues to happen, because it will, like, yo, this man is going to come back depressed, sad, lonely, weird. Like, oh, I shouldn't have done it. I want to go back to being short. I, I never, I should have trusted my, won't care. Don't care. So yeah, y'all boys continue to snap y'all legs. Like do what y'all need to do to get women. I get it. I understand. You don't want to drop the bread on an investment. You don't want to maybe upskill and move up in the corporate ladder. You don't maybe want to go invest in a business, promote, manage anything. Nah, I'm going to break my legs. That's what I want to do as a man. I want to break my legs. Just think about that. Let's just break that down for just a small second. If somebody hands you an $80,000 check right now, that's a year's salary for an upper class person in California. What are you doing with that 80,000? Are you saying, God, I don't like you no more. You made me short. I'm going to do it myself. <laughs> like, yo, this man was like, I got to do it myself. I'm going to break my legs for the team. Don't do it. <laughs> we don't believe you. You need more people. I'm sorry. If I see you in the club, I'm laughing, bro. I'm sorry. I have to. I'm like, oh, shit. You the dude who broke your own legs. What? Bro, can I touch him? <laughs> no, nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, is he in a wheelchair like half the day? Like, what's going on? Help me out. I want to know. Like, I'm not keeping up with these folks because this to me is wild. And this is all based in satire. But when I see this, I'm just like, this is so wild. Right? Like, I don't think I don't have that type of courage. He might be the damn. Now that I th this is very, is this an alpha move? Is this alpha? Drop a comment. If breaking your legs, say, for example, if I'm six foot and I'm like, damn, I want to be six foot eight. Let me go ahead and break my, is that alpha? Is that like, what is that? Is it, I don't know. It's getting dangerous out here. Um, let's all stop now. Can we, can we just pause now? Like, can we just take a breather? Because it's like, damn, I see grown adult men going to Turkey to break their legs. <laughs> we living in sick times. This is the Furious Robinson podcast. If you're here, drop a comment, hit the like button, subscribe. I'm trying to hit 11K subs. So if you're here watching the video, tap in. Shout out to you. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we up. Mm -hmm.